Hey guys, we are back on the Captain's Log. Your first appearance, Johnny B. What's up, buddy? I know, excited, man. I, I watch all these, and I think <laughs> one day I'm gonna be in that in that You're car. You're gonna make it. Oh man, here I am. You are. You are. Well, you're not too far away. You're just across the uh, pond in for in uh, Tampa. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I thought it was farther. It's not that far, right? Two no. hours. Two hours twenty yeah. minutes max. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good little jaunt. I go over there on vacation, and you come over here on vacation. It's funny, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, like the same town, really. It's just we're out of town. Right, right, exactly. So you're performing tonight at Off The Hook Comedy Club. That's exciting. First time in how many years you've been back? Uh, it's been at least 10 years. So. Is it because you're so busy, you can't get? I can't get you on the schedule? It really is. I'm booked everywhere. Yeah, it's, like, a, it's uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm a world traveler. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really tough, so I'm so happy I can make it down here. Well, I'm, I'm happy that we actually uh, could really you back in man and bring you back down to reality just to get a couple of these shows up so scroll down to this thing let's see where okay at. we're gonna go we're gonna go here we're gonna online. share it on on johnny b's so we can see us that's we're us figuring right out there. technology right, in front share of you to whatever page you want oh here and we you go you don't have to worry about writing a title because you can do that later yes perfect don't take up my show i don't go to your show just speak you don't even have to be on it you can shut it down now. oh neat yeah so listen here's the thing you have a radio show i do and is that like a passion or is this wow look at this guy he don't wow care. he wants to die he nice. just went right across all four lanes right in front of us by the way great great lighting today it's amazing it is actually look at that you could you could tell i exfoliate a yeah, little bit yeah, look, yeah looking good captain looking nobody good. would know i'm i'm, I'm 64 years old nobody this would is even true. know yeah, <laughs> Hey, Aaron, what's up, buddy? So, is the radio gig passion, or is it, uh... Yeah. It, what is it? What, what is it about the radio gig? Because, I mean, the money you're saying isn't, like, really not yet. No, it, it, it's a grind. Uh, yeah. I, I love it. So, yeah, it is a passion. It's one of those things where I started off, like, I'll dabble in it um, as I'm doing stand-up and do it on the weekends, and then I got a five-day-a-week show. Um, but I'm at night. So yeah. I'm making nighttime kind of money. So you're like podcasting. Well, no, it's live. It's live. <laughs> I'm teasing you. It's live FM yeah. radio. Yeah. But um, I mean, I did a podcast for a long time. I still yeah. technically have one that yeah. I pay every month. I just haven't put a, an episode a out in like episode a year. Up, yeah. Yeah. So then you technically just came off of iTunes. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I got to go did, check it all out. They did go through and delete them all after. Oh, like, neat. If okay. you don't post an episode after so many months, they they took you off. Oh, that's very that's sad. That's what they said. I don't know. I think you could find me if you look Probably. for Johnny B. Uncensored. Uh, yeah. You'll see a bunch of episodes. Why are you uncensored? Are you very... Sen are you... Uh, because I'm censored on FM radio, so... Ah, so it's uncensored on the podcast. Yeah, you get me unhinged, yeah. unleashed a little bit. Yeah, so... I got you. So all I the things you. I want to say, I can say. Well, don't get naked on my show, because this is a family show. Oh, is it? Hi, kids. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I don't uh, really know if that's a lot of kids watching. It's very hot But outside. I try to keep it PG-13. Yeah, I, you, if, know. you know, if, if your AC breaks, I'm taking my shirt off. So, uh -oh. Uh oh, yeah, you can see all. So, of this. how'd you get into comedy? How how did that start for you? Um, do you have aspirations of doing more things? Tell me about your life. Tell me what's going okay. on. Okay. Um, well, always the class clown, the funny kid. Yeah. I, I grew up uh, pretty much the only white kid in my neighborhood. So, it was uh, either learn how to talk about people's moms or have a good jump shot. And I'm not that good of a basketball player, so I got I got funny by necessity. Yeah. And then after, you know, high school and all that stuff, and college, I went got a degree in art, and then figured out I don't want to paint or draw anymore. Uh, I was working at a bar. You're an artist. Yeah. I've seen some pictures actually that you've drawn. A little bit. Yeah. I, every now and then I'll, I'll I'll dabble, you know. But I just kind of lost my passion in college. I was like, uh, I got all these professors like paint this this color yeah. and you know you suck and you know i hate <laughs> you and all that stuff so i was like i don't want to do it anymore uh but then i was uh, i was working in a bar i was singing in a band because uh, I sing also. This guy sings. He's an artist. He's I, a comedian. I mean, seriously, are I'm, you a lady slayer or I'm what? A, I'm a renaissance man. I, I do it all. And uh, so then I got back from my uh, my fourth stint in Iraq. I'm kidding. That never happened. So I... Um, you had me actually on that. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, no, I was the fattest uh, Marine. But I, um, I, was, I was in this... I was fronting this band <laughs> and I would change the lyrics of all the songs and I would like really piss everybody off all oh, right yeah so they're like dude we just want to do music and you're you're up here making jokes all the time and yeah i had a guy throw a bar stool at me because i was 
roasting him in front of his girlfriend. Sure, sure. So my guitar player's like, you're a comic. You should do comedy. So he tricked me into going to a comedy workshop, said we were going to lunch. By the way, if you ever want to trick a fat person, tell them you're going to get something to eat. You can take them anywhere. The take them to jail. Right? It don't matter. Yeah. So I go to this workshop, and I was like, you know what? I kind of like it. Yeah, it was in Tampa yeah. back in the 90s. It was, uh, the old Comedy Works uh, Comedy Club. Okay. Um, and now it's... Who was, who was the teacher, by the way? Oh, my God. It was... Uh, Pretty Paul Parsons was a Tampa legend. Still, still doing stuff. Right? He's he won't die. He's like 112 years old. Yeah. Um, he was like the guy running it, and there was a couple other guys I don't remember, but I remember seeing the Larry the Cable guy before he was Larry the Cable sure. guy. He was just Dan. I right. saw him roll through there. I ended up. And, and do you know the story about Larry the Cable guy with yeah. Renee at the Improv? Uh, no, I don't know that story. Renee Hart, she's the booker. She runs I know, yeah. Florida's funniest uh, competition. Yeah, she's awesome. She told Dan never to do that gig again at her open mic. Wow. Do not, don't ever do the Larry the Cable guy act ever again. That's funny. And then the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know he would call in to... That's a true story, though. She talks about it. That's where that funny. literally, she was like, that was terrible. Don't do that again. Be yourself. Just be funny. She doesn't look old enough to even have yeah. been back then. No, you know, for like, sure. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I remember he would call in the local radio stations as the celebrity cable guy. Yeah. And then I, I don't know who told him, but somebody said, you should do five minutes on stage. And that's funny. I didn't know the Renee story. That's really yeah, funny. Yeah. He, he came out. He used to do the open mics and do and, and feature for them at the improv. And that's then funny. He tried, he did the Larry the Cable. She's like, don't do that ever again. It's terrible. You'll never go anywhere. That is funny. So I did the, uh, I did the workshop. They offered me three minutes that night on stage and I opened up for, uh, Happy call in three minutes. Yeah, did fine. The next night they invite me to another comedy club I will not mention, and um, Carrot Top was there. Okay. And they said you got three minutes. I get up. I did four minutes. Like I saw the light, but I didn't really. I was freaking out. Didn't know what was going on. I get off stage, and the club owner just destroys me in front of the staff. He yells at me. And I was like, I don't. If this is comedy, I've never done that. I know. Well, you're not a complete douche. So. I thought that was what comedy was. So I was like, I don't want to do that ever again. So I didn't do comedy for six more years until they opened the improv in Tampa. Really? And when they opened the improv, uh, this is 2000, 2001. Had you written jokes though, or did you oh, just yeah. go up there and try to be funny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I stopped working in a bar. I was, I was, I became a poker dealer yeah. at the Hard Rock, and I would make everybody at the poker tables laugh. Right. I would make the break room so laugh. So in, instantly yeah. everyone was like, you're so funny, you're a comedian, get on stage. It's be a comedian. nothing like that, right? Right. It, it, there's a lot more to it, obviously. Correct. But they had this big open mic contest. It's like their big grand opening month or whatever. Yep, yep. So everybody at the casino was like, go do this open mic contest. So I did it, and I won. Uh, part of the reason why I won is I brought like 100 what? people from the casino. <laughs> yeah. You stacked the odds? Oh, yeah, big time. What was the uh, – what year was this? Like 2000 – like late 2000, early 2001. Wow, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I did that. Then I just started really getting – uh, as much stage time as possible, like if any open mic, any stage time. But I don't want to interrupt, but yeah. by the way, Johnny B's my guest. You could see him all weekend, but tonight we're giving away tickets to see his show. You get a one-time shot to see this show as he headlines tonight, and they have to use the code JBJ. Go on offthehookcomedy.com. I'm giving stuff away on this podcast, guys. This is the Captain's Log. And how can they find you on Instagram, Facebook? Because they want to follow you. I always like to give my guests uh, information. Uh, yeah, Instagram's Johnny B Tampa. Um, you get to see all the bacon I cook and all the food that I cook. I do a lot of cooking stuff. It's a good follow. Uh, and then, of course, uh, my stories can be pretty goofy. Um, and then Twitter, um, Johnny B Comedy. I'm, yeah. I'm, holding, I'm holding on to Twitter. Everybody's dumping it. But I know. It's I, like, I, I don't even uh, post on it. It just... I just literally, whatever flows off of my Facebook that goes onto Twitter, I let it ride. Well, I have That's the blue it. check. I'm not giving up Me because too. I have the blue check. Yeah. You know, if you don't have a blue check and you're on Twitter, just give up. Like it's it's, right. it's not worth it. Right, it's not worth it anymore. But if you but if you're an old fart like me and you worked hard, when to get did a, you get your blue check? Uh, it's been a couple of years now. Yeah, 
how did you know you got it? I, that's funny. My, my girlfriend thought that I, I hacked into something. <laughs> She's like, they did not give you one. She thought it was fake. So we're getting ready to go somewhere. And she goes, I like the fake uh, verification you got on your Twitter. Like, how did you do that? Is that like an emoji or something? And I said, what are you talking about? So I logged in. And I freaked out like a 14-year-old girl that just saw Bieber. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so then I'm like really tweeting way too much at that point and everybody's like we get it dude you're yeah 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 you, you made you're it you're verified bro yeah. so actually i got in a twitter little battle years ago back in probably 2008 with phase on love oh yeah and i got verified uh after going back and forth and i don't know i just one day I woke up i was verified but the funny thing was is People didn't even know what the blue check was on Facebook or or Twitter really until Instagram. I think. Right. I think because they would have had the, people they had no clue that that meant anything, unless it was just that Naples was so far behind everybody. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not real sure about that. I was actually late to Instagram. Like I just, yeah. I Facebook. I was really heavy on Facebook um, and Twitter, and I all my younger friends in the industry and radio and comedy they're like dude where's your instagram and i'm right. like i don't know so about a year ago i really got on instagram okay and okay. now it's my favorite now yeah. I, I love it's it it's addicting it's so much better uh than everything else so uh i try to do more on instagram now because I, I, I look better I in a both. filter yeah yeah well that's it you know i hear you i hear how that works i mean i wish i can go on stage tonight with rabbit ears it'd be so much better <laughs> do you use snapchat I have Snapchat rarely ever on it. Yeah. Because I only got it because I thought girls were going to send me naked stuff all the time. Right. That's what everyone Nothing. thinks, right? No. It happens occasionally. Yeah. Well, for you, you're Captain Brian. I get nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Occasional. You get that occasional, wow, hey, okay, I'm going to open this one in my own time. You know, you don't, you're like, Shh, I was damn. begging for any nudity. Like, I yeah. was like, look, I don't care if you're a fat, amputee, uh, anything. It would work. Care. It would make you happy. Please, just let me I, know that you want me to see your naked body. That I don't think awesome. any, I don't, I don't think naked is ugly, no matter what. I'm kind of like a, I'm an equal opportunity. Oh, yeah. okay. If, no matter what, what the look is, oh. if it's naked, it's pretty good to me. Now, it might not be good to me, but I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the act, yeah. exactly. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. God bless, you know? Man, it made me think I'm important enough to see yeah. your junk. I mean, that's like, right. That's one right. guys even. You know, I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's not going to turn me gay. I'm no, good. I'll, no, look, at your, I'll yeah. look at your thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Just let me know that you want me to see it. Don't man. look at mine right now. It's hiding. Oh, well, look, at look at that. Look at that right there, guys. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work. That needs to be verified. That's good. Ah, uh, so listen, uh, what can they expect tonight from the show? Um, I do, uh, I talk about my life, you know, I'm, yep. I'm uh, you know, I, I've been married twice, they, they, they both married, you know, failed horribly, I raised a kid on my own, and Ditto. Uh, I probably do 15, 20 minutes just on uh, raising this kid, some very funny stuff that's, that's happened with us, yep. um, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, fabrication I don't write like knock knock jokes it's no. really just uh, everything's based on true stories yeah. uh, you know it's a uh, it's a little on edge sometimes you know my influences are you know uh, Carlin and Pryor and uh, but you know, back to like Carrot that. Top when you work with oh, Carrot man. Top yeah. How was that? I mean, look, the guy's a freaking superstar now. When I worked with him, he wasn't like yeah. he, he came up in Florida. And he was skinny. Yeah. He was super skinny. Um, I talked to now him. Now he's for a, jacked. Oh, I know. The last time I saw him, he was ripped and he smelled like all the weed in the world. Yeah. And but still, super nice guy. Yeah. Like, and selling out every show in Vegas. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to. Uh, I actually talk about him on stage. I'm going to talk about Carrot Top tonight, good, actually. Good, yeah. good, All right. Well, uh, talk about me, too. I like that. It's good it's stuff. good for my ego. Yeah, so Carrot Top was very nice to me. I ended up working with him again uh, after that horrible ordeal where I got uh, annihilated by the club owner. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, weird. <laughs> yeah. We won't do that. No, 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 no. It, it was, it but was if you suck, weird. I will. I will say something. I sure but hope, I won't annihilate you. I'll just sure tell you something. I hope I don't suck. I think, yeah. the crowd, I think the crowds are going to be awesome. So they are. They I've are. heard nothing but good about the crowds at Off good. the Hook. So I blame awesome. the crowd 100% if I say no. Well, I never let me did. wrap it up, guys. This is the Captain's Log. We just finished on 105.5 The Beat. That was a great show. Which your longtime friend Brittany Gonzalez yeah. and all of my friends Ramo and everyone at the show was great. Now we're heading right now. We're walking into 
B103.9, Big Mama, and The Wild Bunch. And if you guys want to hear the rest of the show, tune in to 103.9 right now. We're going uh, live with Big Mama. This is the Captain's Log. I'm Captain Brian. My guest, Johnny B, is going to be at Off the Hook Comedy Club all weekend. Don't miss him. And you're going to be with Big J Okerson tomorrow, who's live on the show with me. Don't miss Big J tomorrow. The Captain's Log, we out.